Okay, so it's time to give an update on the crabs and how they're doing after two months since putting them in here. There's one over there trying to um, come out actually. She probably heard me cleaning up in here and that's why she's coming out. Anyway, everything is going good. Especially better now that the weather outside is warming up. So it is definitely warmer in here. I really thought about getting a heat source, like a heat emitter or something, because they just weren't being active at all. And it was probably because it was really cold in here. The heat pad down here isn't going to do anything but keep the uh, substrate fairly warm. But the ambient temperature was remaining cold, so. They were pretty much huddled up in that corner for a whole month. <laughs> Or maybe more than that. No activity. Well, sometimes they would come out to eat and drink, but it was straight back into that corner. But because of the warmer weather recently, they have been coming out and exploring, finally, on their own. Especially Coconut. She's climbed all up around the place. <laughs> so a few things I added were, well actually, let's open this first and maybe turn off the waterfall for now. I might make a video in the future about going over this whole setup and how I have things automatic. I hope this is the waterfall. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. Anyway, well, speaking of waterfall, the last time I updated on this terrarium, which was the day after I set it up, I talked about how this uh, waterfall was too annoying to have on during the day because I was able to have it off during the night connected to this timer outlet. But when I realized that humidity just isn't staying in here, I decided to cover the mesh with like plastic wrap that I have and that has helped some. I still need to like make it better, more insulated to keep the humidity in. but. Adding all this plastic around it had dialed down the noise this waterfall was making, so it was good having it on during the day because it was no longer so loud. So a few things I added to this terrarium were these little old aquarium plants that came off of a decoration and I just found them when organizing fish stuff. Decided to poke them around this. <laughs> And then I also found these, um, like, brand new plastic aquarium grass plant things. They had barely been used, so they're practically still new. So I just cleaned them and stuck them right here. So that adds a bit more greenery, which I think looks pretty nice. So if you saw the uh, setting up video of this, you might remember that I put a piece of styrofoam here. And the reason for putting styrofoam in here was just to make it lighter, easier on the weight-bearing corner things here. <laughs> I also didn't have enough substrate to fill this all up. So having the styrofoam in here to take up space allowed me to fill it up at least most of the way. But someone in the comments was concerned that the hermit crabs would still be able to get to the styrofoam and like eat it and that would be toxic and stuff. I did cover the styrofoam with scotch tape before putting it in here, but I told that person I would make it more crab proof so I uncovered all the sand from the styrofoam and took some extra plexiglass I had from making aquarium lids. Well, I don't know if it's plexiglass exactly, but it's basically the cover of a picture frame and anyways I had a lot of extra of that so I just cut out shapes the shapes I needed to surround the piece of styrofoam so I laid a big piece on top and stuck a piece on the side and then another little piece basically just covered wherever there was um, access to the to the styrofoam so it's definitely hermit crab proof now last night for food I gave them chicken, carrots, and lettuce, but they didn't eat any of it because they never came out last night. <laughs> anyway, I took that out before filming because you definitely don't want chicken sitting out 
worked all day especially after a whole night so I have this spray bottle for for making their terrarium humid and it's it's more like a mister actually anyway I, I spray their terrarium every morning and night I did condition it with Reptisafe. Oh yeah, one more thing I added was just a bunch of moss in this back corner because that's where they like to spend most of their time. All five of the crabs are at the surface, so I went ahead and poured water in the substrate and then mixed it up really well. So it's all good now, I'm able to make holes in the sand and they hold their shape. And I'm able to form it into a mound without it collapsing, so it should be really good for molting now and it's not too wet because if it was these holes would be filling up with water and that would mean the substrate is flooded which I have had before in their old tank and to fix that I had to take all the sand out and lay it outside in the sun in a kiddie pool and let it dry if I simply poured water in the substrate without mixing it all that water would just sink to the bottom and you want it evenly distributed throughout the whole sand and dirt and stuff. Luckily all the crabs being up allowed me to do this. I think that's really all I wanted to update on and just let you know the crabs are doing good in their new home. Alright well that's it for this video so thank you for watching and feel free to leave questions down below about this terrarium and have a good day. Bye!